Hey folks, this is Ben back with you in the model shop. Thanks for tuning back in. Uh, today, we'll just uh, just a quick couple of things on the uh, Arizona. We got some work done on the anti-aircraft guns, the five-inch secondary guns. Got the upper hull glued onto the lower hull. Um, got the main deck, all the plastic parts glued down, and then um, we start addressing some of the fit issues that I have, uh, some of the painting and um, some of the stuff going on with the wooden deck excuse me and the anchor chain plate so um, yeah those are the big highlights let's get into it alright folks so we've made some progress here let's uh, we've got the hull glued on the two halves together and uh, we're gonna do some weathering still along here this is all gonna be sorted out but I wanted to start working on um, some of the deck plating items and all of these little holes and everything you see here get tons and tons of stuff put on them uh, per the instructions. Let me show you that. Alright, so uh, here's a bunch of stuff that goes on the bow and then here's another page of stuff that all goes on the bow all in this area up here and it would be nice to put all of this stuff on shoot it again with spray paint and then put on our wooden deck. So, um, I'm trying to figure out what can I put on now that fits around the holes and everything that we have in the wooden deck. I also have here our uh, anchor chain plate um, from White Ensign Models and they include some nice pictures and everything. Uh, interestingly enough, here they showed after the modern refit it actually looks black, but I, I doubt that's actually the case um, not totally sure what's going on here so what you know it's a black and white picture here they show it again looks like it's just a dark gray so anyway I wanted to go ahead and start putting that on um, here's the thing though you can see where the anchor plate is on the deck this area is all supposed to be painted but we're going to use a wood deck um, I've already started messing with this. If you just grab this and throw it up here, a couple things, like right here, there's a, a piece that, and my hole doesn't look good, supposed to fit through. Uh, in the back here, I had issues with getting this to line up, sorry, and fit in place like it needed to be. Uh, same with right here. I had to trim that. Um, this piece doesn't exactly fit. And then when you when you come over here, um, when you lay everything down flat, kind of the way it's supposed to be, like right there, for example, it's way off. Basically, it doesn't fit well. Now the question is, how do we get this to work? And what's going to go where? Uh, I did take apart the wood deck, and for the most part here, so like let's let's just snap this in place, just to get it, you know, it's sitting there. Um, if you start there, and you lay this deck plating down, it looks like I could get away with it. And as you can see, it sits on top. But look at this huge gap that's right there. This this plate, where it lays on top, it, it's okay, and everything seems to cover just fine over here, uh, except for up on the front of the bow. Um, this piece I already cut off and was trimming, and I think I'm just going to set back in place after the fact. Over here, we're way off. I don't know why exactly and it kinda wants to twist so my thought is I'm gonna cut this photo etch metal right here I'm gonna put a seam in it right there and have this piece lay down well because it does and then I'll put this piece down uh, and fit it in place afterwards I also decided that um, I'm gonna paint up everything I can, get the wood deck down, 
paint up the chain plate and put it on the wood deck afterwards uh, on top once everything's in. We'll just kind of throw this up here again so you guys can folks can see what's going on. This fits, you know, generally speaking, extremely well and the whole plate area lays out real nicely. Um, but then when you go, like I said, once again, you put this down, it, it, it wants to, it's meant to lay in there. Something is askew with the pattern. It, it's like it's the, it's the right pattern and then something got moved sideways somewhere along the way. I don't exactly know where it is. I suspect little things like this nub, there's a cutout for that nub. It's clearly in the wrong place. This whole thing is supposed to be... Looks like it's supposed to fit just like that, but then we're way off over here. Again, this corner fits, but at, only after I trimmed it. This corner fits, but only after I trimmed it. Uh, and then this hole I had to put in there. There's also a hole right here. And I checked that that is a used uh, piece that gets installed but as you can see there is no hole in the deck plating for it for the chain um, so I have to very carefully put a hole in there so I can attach that part so uh, those are things that are gonna have to be sorted out um, and I do want to show you real quick we will get more detail on this I I am going to take this out and uh, spray a clear coat a matte finish on the back, these are not adhesive. They have this very, very thin um, foam to it, basically a felt. I mean, it's almost imperceivable, but it is there. And they did recommend uh, Gorilla Wood Glue to put it down. And so what I'm going to do is I'll take a, a scrap piece and uh, I'll glue it down probably to a big piece of plastic or... Maybe on the bottom side of this piece, somewhere where it's going to be out of sight, just to, you know, up over here or something, just to test it and see, does that work the way that I want? Uh, and this will be its own. This is the next layer to the decking that goes on. This will be its own whole thing. It's got its own piece of wood. So anyway, um, that's what I'm sorting out right now. Also, I did make a bunch of progress on the guns. Let's take a quick look at those. All right, here are our guns. Uh, these are not the main guns. Obviously, this is we have our um, five-inch anti-aircraft guns, and these are five-inch fifty ones. They go on the side of the, you know, they're, they're your secondary armament um, with the brass barrels I installed. Now it, they did come with brass barrels for fifty caliber machine guns, and I believe. That little small barrel to the right there that you see. Uh, those turned out well enough. I was not interested in cutting that off, drilling a hole to put in a little piece of brass. Um, these guns, though, they turned out looking really nice. So the fit issues, it was a combination of really great and really bad. Uh, most of these guns fit together and all the parts extremely well. What did not fit well were the barrels, and it wasn't the brass barrels' fault. Um, it was the holes pre-cast into the guns, both the anti-aircraft gun and the mains guns. They were super cockeyed. I mean, it wasn't even close. It was way off. And so it took a bunch of boring out of the holes with, uh, on the anti-aircraft guns. I was able. This is actually just a loader. It's not a gun, but I was able to. Um, run a drill bit in there and clean everything out. On these I had to run a knife in there kind of break everything apart and with a lot of super glue very carefully uh, put everything into place and then uh, like this stand right here this little side piece on all of these guns both sides the tab located at the bottom was too long and they actually poked out uh, they were too high so I had to go ahead and trim all of those off so like they turned out looking really great they were a lot of fun once I sorted out the fit issue um, and the brass you know 
it looks fantastic right now. Most of it's going to get painted, but I'll try and do some details. Like I'll, I'll keep the back of the breech steel and the front of these little pistons steel, and maybe right in there, everything else will be the navy blue, like it's supposed to be. You're not really going to see that detail, but the anti-aircraft guns you will. So we'll try and make some of that stuff stick out. All right, last thing probably for this video is I did work a little bit more on the seam uh, in terms of painting. I added kind of a lighter tan color. It's actually um, Africa khaki along the edge there. And I think that it worked out okay. I might have to, you know, you've got some bright spots right here that need to be dialed back. I also hit... You guys remember in the previous video that was really prominent. I hit that with a flat red, just regular red. Kind of did a light coat over it. And I think that that uh, worked out really well in terms of dialing back the intensity of the of the algae. But, you know, at a distance I was looking for a worn um, edge. And we're going to have to do something with, you know, uh, an oil wash or something along here to... Um, put some wear and tear on the hull up above the water, but I think that looks nice. That's kind of the worn look that I was going for. So anyway, uh, real quick, let's see, that's why I used Africa Khaki Brown. Uh, it's, it's a German color, number 41, 1941. I like it because it's got a little bit of green in it and the tan, which I think uh, translated pretty well. Like I said, I just did this with my airbrush. All right, I think that's a probably enough video, uh, enough to get something up for the week. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching again, guys, and we'll come back to you with some uh, more forward progress when I can.